Our study area is the Nubregat River. The metropolitan section of the Nubregat River has a length of 30 kilometers and crosses 16 different municipalities. It is a typical Mediterranean river that has been exploited for different uses and a river that nowadays coincides with a key infrastructural corridor. The AMB, the Metropolitan Area of Barcelona, has been investing and continues to invest many efforts to socially and ecologically recover the, the river area. We believe that the information gathered, the lessons learned, with the support of uh, CREAF and thanks to our involvement with the Clearing House project, will help us greatly in the current and future planning, design and management of, of the river area. Our main challenge is how to balance the different demands, how to uh, promote uh, social and ecological connectivity, how to improve biodiversity, despite the dramatic reduction of the river area space and the coexistence with uh, major infrastructures. More than 50% of the territory of the metropolitan area of Barcelona are open spaces. And if we take in account uh, all green spaces of the cities, parks, streets, squares, the green infrastructure represents more than 70%. This data is a surprise considering that the metropolitan area of Barcelona is one of the most densely populated of the territories of the Mediterranean coast. This situation is a great opportunity for implement the green infrastructure and the nature-based solutions. Another opportunity is the Metropolitan Urban Master Plan, which is a work in progress that put on the top the green infrastructure and will allow a, a urban planning in this direction, the implementation of nature-based solutions for increase the resilience of the cities. The green infrastructure and nature-based solutions must be working at all levels, regional level, territorial level, in the cities and all the neighborhoods too. At the same time, we need to uh, implement the natural solutions and in the private spaces, like roofs or balconies, so that each people has a role and can add to it. The objectives of our co-design sessions in Clearing House are, first of all, to transform mentalities, uh, to change a little bit the perspective of, upon nature-based solution, and to learn together. This is not an easy task always, but anyway, the main objective would be to um, retain important knowledge and obtain relevant knowledge for everybody. So this would be an inclusive view, a transformative view, and we are trying to go beyond uh, the classical concept of nature-based solutions in that way. And I think that one of the outcomes uh, out of our sessions, of co-design sessions, uh, the ideal one would be not only that everyone um, is learning about the importance of more biodiverse and green spaces or nature-based solutions in general, but we would also like to enable new community configurations. And one of the expected outcomes would be to obtain and to enable new community configurations around nature-based solutions and new understanding and also to obtain meaningful nature-based solutions in this area. I think that the key in the future would be to also preserve the nature-based solutions that you already have there to preserve, for instance, the cultural landscapes uh, in peri-urban areas and to somehow be able to connect better um, the rural and the urban spaces. And for me in the future, an ideal NBS would be, for example, that um, all the schools in the city uh, could, should be able to have a, a greener and biodiverse and edible um, schoolyard, for instance and that every hospital uh, to be able to have uh, in the nearby a garden or an urban forest. 